Assalamu alaikum. I am Huzifa Patel. Already we have started chapter number one, knowing our numbers. Today we are going to learn exercise 1.2. Okay, so my dear students, are you ready? Okay. So question number one. A book exhibition was held for four days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third and final day was respectively 1,094, 1,812, 2,050 and 2,751. So find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. Right? So my dear student, you can see very well, okay, there are total number of tickets which have sold on the ticket counter, okay. So first question I am asking you, how many tickets sold at the counter on the first day? So answer is 1094. Now, how many tickets sold at the counter on the second day? 1800. 12. Now I am asking, how many tickets sold at the counter on the third day? Okay, so tell me what is answer? 2050. Okay, now the last question, how many tickets sold at the counter on the final day? The answer is 2751. Understood? So what we are going to find? find out the uh, we, we are going to find out the total number of tickets sold on all the four days so we will add all the four numbers right understood what i am telling you beta okay so we will add all the four numbers you can see okay so here number of tickets sold on the first day is equal to 1094 my dear students, one thing I want to tell you, this is the application type of questions. So we have to mention a line, sentences, which you have given in that question. Understood? Now, the number of tickets sold on the second day is equal to 1812. Okay? Now, number of tickets sold on the third day is equal to 2050. And number of tickets sold on the fourth day is equal to 2751. So, I am asking you what we have to do. We will add all the four numbers, right? Clear? So, therefore, the total number of tickets sold on all the four days is equal to, you can see, 1,094 plus 1,812 plus 2,050 plus 2,751. Okay. So you can see, 1,094 plus 1,812 plus 2,050 plus 2,751. Okay, so here 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. 15 plus 5 is equal to 20. The unit digit is 0 and carry out by 2. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. So carry out by 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Okay, so what is the right answer? 
7,707. Understood what I am telling you, Bita? So, the answer is 7,707. Clear? This is your answer. Okay. So, answer is equal to total number of tickets sold on all the four days is equal to 7,707. My dear students, one thing I want to tell you. After completion of all the sum, after completion of all the sum, you have to keep habit to write answer in the rectangle box. Understood? So it creates a good impression in the in front of the examiner. So he know well. He know how to write the answer. Okay. So after completion of the answer, you have to write answer in the rectangle box. This thing you should keep in your mind. Understood? What I am telling you? Okay. Now we will move on the next question. Question number two. Shaker is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored 6,980 runs in test matches. He wishes to complete 10,000 runs. How many more runs does he need? Okay, I am asking. Please give me answer. How many runs made Shaker in the uh, test matches? He made total runs. He made total runs. 6980. Okay. Now he wishes to complete. Uh, yes, I want to make. I want to make a new year's record, 10,000 runs in all the test matches. So Shaker wishes to complete 10,000 runs in all the test matches, right? Okay. So my dear students, what we have to do? We are going to find out how many require more runs. Okay. कितने रन के अभी उन लोगों को जरूरत है अभी शेखर को 10000 रन बनाना है ऑलरेडी ही मेड 6980 रन सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी विल सबट्रैक्ट दिस टू नंबर 10000 माइनस 6980 क्लियर ओके सो Number of runs scored by Shekhar so far is equal to 6980. Then target run to be scored is equal to 10,000. Number of runs needed more is equal to 10,000 minus 6980. You can see here 0. Minus 0 is equal to 0. 0 minus 8, it is not possible. So we will move on the next number. It is also 0, so it is also not possible. So we will move here. Here it is also 0, it is also not possible. So here we will move. Here 1. So 1 is uh, deducted by 1. It means 1 minus 1. The 1 minus 1 is equal to zero so here 10 plus zero is equal to 10 but also we will give one to the this number so it is also subtracted by one okay so 10 minus one is equal to nine same way here it is also nine and it is 10 so 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 and 0 minus nothing should be given any value. So 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Okay. So what is the answer? The answer is 3020. 
clear what I am telling you? What is the answer? 3020. Clear? So, already I told you in the question number one, after completion of all the sum, the, we have to write, we should write the answer in which box? In the rectangle box. Okay. Now, we will move on the next question, question number three. In an election, the successful candidate registered 577,500 votes and his nearest rival secured 348,700 votes. By what margin did the successful candidate win the election? Okay, my dear student, I am asking how many votes who can now how many votes secured by the successful candidate? The successful candidate secured by secure was how many? 577,500 and the runner up and the runner up the runner up secure 3,48,700. So we are going to margin how many was can by more how many was can more was by the successful candidate. So we are going to margin. We are going to find margin. Okay, so what we have to do? We will subtract these two numbers, right? Okay. The number of votes secured by the successful candidate is equal to 5,77,500. And number of votes secured by his rival, or we can say another word, Number of was secured by the runner up, first runner up. So, what is the answer? So, here you can see 3,48,700. Okay. So, the third point, the margin of was 5,77,500 minus 3,48,700. Right. Okay. So, here you can see. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 5 minus 7, it is not possible. So we will move here. So, so this 7 is deducted by 1. So 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. Okay, now 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. Now 6 minus 8, it is not possible. So we will move on the next number. T7 is also deducted by 1. So 7 minus 1 is equal to 1, uh, 6. So here we will move to 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. Okay. So 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. Okay. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 and 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Okay, so what is the answer? 2,28,800. This is your answer. Clear what I am telling you? Okay. So what is the answer? The margin of force is equal to 2,28,800. Now we will move on to the next question, question number four. Find the difference between the greatest and the least number that can be written using the digits 6, 2, 7, 4, 3, each only once. Each means these all the digits which are repeating only one time. Clear? 6 is not repeating 2 times, 2 is not repeating more than 1 time, okay? So it is repeating only single time, no repetition will be allowed, okay? Now, 
my dear students we are going to find out a greatness already i taught you in a video number one in a part one how to write a greatest number already i taught you in the among the digits which number we are going to write first so the first we are going to write the greatest highest greatest number so among all the digit which number is the greatest number highest greatest number seven then six then four then three then two so what is number six seventy six thousand four hundred thirty two it is a greatest number and the least number it is a reverse order of the greatest number it means twenty three thousand four hundred sixty seven understood what i am telling you twenty three thousand four hundred sixty seven it is a list number and this is a biggest number clear okay now the greatest number this seventy six thousand four hundred thirty two and smallest number is equal to twenty three thousand four hundred sixty seven. Okay, now difference is equal to greatest number minus smallest number. So you can see now how to do. So you can here you can see two minus seven. It is not possible. So we will move here. Okay, so three is deduct deducted by one. Three is reduced by one. So three minus one is equal to two. Now these two, so this one should be uh, come here on here. So ten plus two is equal to twelve. Twelve minus seven is equal to five. Okay, two minus six it is not possible. So we will move on the next number. Now four is also deducted by one. The so four minus one is equal to three, and here ten plus two is equal to twelve. The so twelve minus six is equal to six, but here three minus four it is not possible. So we will move on the next number. Here six is also deducted by one. So six minus one is equal to five. Okay. And here, 10 plus 3 is equal to 13, and 13 minus 4 is equal to 9. Now, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2, and 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. So, what is the answer? The answer is 52,965. Okay. So, my dear student, you can see. Okay. So answer is difference is equal to fifty-two thousand nine hundred sixty-five. Okay. Now, beta, this is a practice question. You how to do at home? Okay. If any query, if any doubt will be occur, so you can put your message. Yeah, you can send me message. Yeah, you can drop the message in the comment section box. So, insha Allah, I will try to give your proper solution. Okay, my dear students. Then, Allah Hafiz, and thank you very much.